gas turbine engines have excellent power to weight ratio, great reliability and much less moving parts compared to a piston engine. Thus they perfectly fit into applications like aeroplanes, helicopters, ships. They are nowhere near practical for street use as they are not as responsive and easy to use. But there were some attempts of gas turbine vehicles, mostly unsuccessful. The idea of a gas turbine car came from 1930s when Chrysler attempted to create a turbine engine for aviation. After World War II, the team looked outside the industry and thought about implementing this engine into an automobile. A proper development and testing program was launched for dozens of cars released into the wide world, where they cumulatively drove over 1 million miles. The program was cancelled but the concept was very tempting. 80% less moving parts compared to a combustion engine, no cooling, ability to burn almost any fuel and high efficiency. When they took them to Mexico, they ran the tank, they filled it with tequila. When they took it to France, they ran it on Chanel No. 5 perfume. Wow. Uh, the only thing that won't run on is leaded fuel. Helmet TX used a Continental T65 T1 engine, also known as TS325-1. Engineers were able to lease two of these engines from the shelf as they were not needed at the time. It is a FAA approved helicopter engine designed also to work in a pair, being relatively very powerful and lightweight. There was no conventional gearbox due to a wide usable rev range, only a modular rear wheel differential for a simple final drive change according to a specific circuit's layout. FIA allowed it to race within the 3 liter class and from 11 races it won two pole positions and two races. Using a Pratt and Whitney Canada PT6 engine, an American-made STP Paxton turbocar had this engine beside the driver powering both axles. It took part in two Indy 500 race events and once achieved the fastest lap. Later, this engine was also used in a Lotus 56 behind the driver, as this all-wheel drive chassis was also meant to be shared for the Indy 500 and Formula 1 car. The 56 was very fragile and out of three F1 races in 1971, it managed to finish only once, in Italy at 8th place, with Fittipaldi behind the wheel. Rover and British Racing Motors got together to work on a gas turbine powered race car. Rover already had some experience as they were the first to introduce a turbine car to the public yet in 1949 with the Rover Jet 1. The Rover BRM featured a Leyland 2S150R engine and Rover decided to race with it on 24 hours of Le Mans which it did at average speed of 150 km power and completing 3,600 kilometers with hours to spare. It was in a sub 2 liter class during racing driven by men like Graham Hill and Jackie Stewart.
1967, Leyland bought Rover and director of engineering Leyland insisted on making the 2S150 engine suitable for a semi-truck. However, the engine was largely reworked for a 350 horsepower output and they aimed to match the purchase cost of a diesel truck and crawl under diesel operational costs. While test drivers enjoyed low noise levels, company directors would allow a modest 800 pound cost per 12,000 engine hours, about half price compared to a diesel with the same engine lifespan. Leyland stated that the engine was about the same size as its diesel equivalent with a 450 kilograms of weight savings. There was a 10-speed gearbox, but to match the performance, they would only need a 3-speed. Ford Big Red Gas Turbine Truck It all started in 1950s when Ford saw a potential in a turbine engine outside tank and helicopter applications. They worked two decades on it and created a single truck that had a comparable running cost to a diesel engine and was so quiet that they described it as scarcely audible. It also made more torque from low speeds and could easily tow two trailers with 600 horsepower at 70 miles per hour. And already has traveled from coast to coast, testing its adaptability to the highways and traffic of the future. Big Red is designed to move smoothly on the road, without the usual buffeting turbulence associated with speed. Its aerodynamic efficiency is 37% better than trucks of traditional design for improved fuel economy. MTTY2K was powered by an aviation engine developed in early 1960s by Ellison. It was sold by Rolls-Royce since 1995. The engine was pretty heavy amongst motorcycle power units, 63 kilograms, but the bike managed to reach 400 km power of top speed. There is a two-speed automatic gearbox and exhaust outlets temperatures of 650 degrees of Celsius, plenty enough to melt a car's front bumper behind you at a stoplight. Abrams. The heart of this vehicle is a Lycoming made 1500 horsepower gas turbine engine which the M1 Abrams was built around. The engine provided a hefty portion of propulsion power with a possible top speed of 97 km power. It burns various sorts of fuels including any octane gasoline, diesel, jet fuel or kerosene. This tank was nicknamed as Whispering in Death due to its lower noise compared to a diesel tank. I'm not such a fan of gas turbine engines, but this video was really interesting to make. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below which one of these vehicles you love the most. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers!